What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another installment of Hoggy's Quick Beer Reviews. And today I bring you a beer I have been wanting to try quite some time. Today's beer is called Punk IPA from Brewdog, the Brewdog Brewery in Scotland. Now, Brewdog has been uh, making a name for itself with some rather extreme beers. Right now, the big deal with them is a beer called Tactical Nuclear Penguin. If you haven't heard about it, look it up. Um, it's an imperial style, or at least it started as an imperial style, and it is a beer that is 30-something percent ABV. So, I mean, it, that's about as extreme as you can get. I believe it's the second strongest beer ever made, something like that. So, that recently came out. I'm hoping I can get my hands on it one day to try it. But, uh, you know, that's that. But they, they do extreme beers. Um, the only other beer, the only beer I've had from them is from a series they make called Paradox. The one I tried was the Smokehead Paradox Brew. Um, I had it on cask several months ago. And it's basically smoky whiskey water. Um, you know, it's, it's, it went great with dessert, but it's barely a beer. Um, but again, interesting, and I gave it to them for doing creative stuff. Now, this, on the other hand, is a regular IPA. Um, on the front here it says Punk IPA, Postmodern Classic Pale Ale, product of Scotland, 6% by volume. Um, you look it up and this is categorized as an American IPA, so it should be made in the American style of a hoppy, you know, um, just, you know, strong hop character, hoppy American IPA. Check in Beer Advocate. There's, amazingly, it's only has, uh, it only has 176 reviews on Beer Advocate and it averages a B out of the 176. Brewdog, uh, United Kingdom, Scotland, American IPA, 6% ABV. Nothing we don't already know. Okay, so, now, before we get into it, let me just, uh, see, it, it, it has all this stuff here, if you want to read that. I'm not going to read all of that to you, but Brewdog has attitude, and uh, it's very reminiscent of Stone Brewing, Makers of Arrogant Bastard, and you'll see why in a moment. It says, Brewdog, slightly perfect beers. It says, this is not a lowest common denominator beer. We don't care if you don't like it. We do not merely aspire to the proclaimed heady heights of conformity through neutrality and blandness. This beer is in no way mainstream or commercial. It is proud to be the alternative. And there's a couple more paragraphs. I'll spare you. But, uh, you know, they, they have attitude and they don't care if you don't like their beers, which is a quality I like in a brewery. Um, so, yeah, Punk IPA. For an IPA, we have the IPA Goblet. And if you can take a look there, See if you can make that out. It's a really cool cap, the white and blue, their little logo. I'm saving that. I'm going to start working on my fridge magnets uh, sometime soon. So, I can't find my lighter, and I'm not going to use an opener to bang it up. So, wooden spoon. I learned this trick on YouTube. I would have never thought to use a spoon, but it makes perfect sense. So, of course, if you're not careful, you're going to chew up the bottom of your spoon, because this cap's on here pretty tight and you might get a piece of wood in your beer, so be careful if you use the spoon. But there it goes. The cap is unharmed. I wish I could say the same thing for the spoon, but oh well. Ooh, yeah, that's an American IPA, people. Yeah, I was in the mood for an IPA. I picked this up a couple days ago. I was in the mood for an IPA and I saw this and I said, oh, there it is. That's what I'm drinking. I haven't had a good IPA in a while. At least not in a bottle. I haven't bought anything new. I had a great IPA on tap the other day, but uh, I had already tried it before. So, this is something completely new. And I think this is going to be really good. It is hazy. You cannot see through this beer. It is a hazy, golden color. Light amber, golden, hazy, streams of carbonation. You can see the bubbles floating up there. See if you can make that out. I think my lighting's gotten a little bit better. I don't have the pea green wall behind me anymore, but still not the greatest camera. And of course, you know, showing the color of the beer on camera is always a tricky thing. But it's a lovely, hazy, golden color. It didn't pour with a lot of head, but it is sticking to the glass a bit there. And, uh, 
hoppiness. Amazingly, for a light color, there's malt in there as well. Mmm, piney, citrusy. Yeah, piney grapefruit. With a hint of sweetness underneath. Yeah, oh, that smells good. So, to Scotland. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Mm. Remember, guys, I'm a hophead. I want the hops to jump out of the glass and kick me in the mouth. I want that. And I just got that. Take that first sip and you feel the bite and the bitterness from the hop oils. It just hits you right away. And you just get assaulted with that hoppy bitterness all the way through. This is not an amazingly super hopped beer, some ruination kind of thing. No. But it is very hoppy and a very good IPA. Mm. Towards the middle, the middle and the end, you, f you get the body of caramel coming through. It shows up and you do get the sweetness. This beer is not ice cold. It's nowhere near room temperature, but it's warmed up a bit. I'd say maybe in the 50s. And the body is coming out. You taste the malt. You get that sweetness. But it's just overpowered by the hop. I will say over overpowered because the malt body, the malt sweetness, that caramel you get, does kind of balance out the hop and give it a good balance and blend of flavors. But it's all about the hops, man. Hop oil, you know, resiny finish. Yeah, this is good. Mmm. Yeah. That's a good idea, guys. <clears throat> if you like something like Ruination, a good, strong, hoppy IPA, this is something you need to try. Brewdog, you know, they're in Scotland, and yet they've made a very, very good version of a hoppy American IPA. i got to go find out what kind of hops is in this. Because this is good. This is good, and I'm going to enjoy drinking it. So there you go, guys. Brewdog, a Scottish IPA that will kick you in the teeth. Good stuff. Good stuff. I consider this... Ah, geez, you know, there's so many good IPAs out there. You know what? Considering they do extreme beers, considering they're, you know, uh, Scots trying to do an American IPA, I have to congratulate them. This is a glass full beer. This is a damn good IPA. So that's it, guys. Two thumbs way up for this beer from BrewDog, the Punk IPA. If you like IPAs and you see it, pick it up. You'll like it. Trust me. And on that note, I'm out of here. Cheers.